everybody, Sven Diesel here. We're going to be tying up the low riding caddis. I call it that because it just rides low. Uh, it kind of dips down into the water and you got to have a heavy wing to support it. We're going to start with putting some uh, wax thread here on the hook. This is an ADA in a tan by Semperfly. And we're going to go ahead and start this on the shank. And uh, we'll get it started and get back to about the point of the hook. And we'll uh, cut out our tag in. <clears throat> and then we will begin uh, with tying in materials. Now for this, uh, we're going to have a little bit of a shuck because uh, it, it acts kind of like I'm an emerger. And so I'm just going to take one strand of crystal flash and fold it in half twice and cut it so that I got four strands about. And then I'll go ahead and place it here at the uh, top of the bend of the hook and use my thread to secure that onto the shank just trying to keep uh, the habit of having a uniform body and we're going to work this well down into the bin so far that we're going to adjust this hook in the vise and i'll just continue with touching wraps keeping that flash on the top of the hook and we'll continue about halfway down the bend here and you can see we're there and i'll go ahead and trim these out to get them out of the way and you can always uh, cut them a little bit shorter or leave them until the very end but I just want to get them out of our way. But we're going to rib this with some flat tinsel by Semperfly. This is the small. I usually use gold for this. And we'll go ahead and just cut off a 3 to 4 inch piece so it's easier to work with. And we'll tie it in here at the bend. And we're going to be putting quite a bit of dubbing on this uh, shank. So we're not too concerned with thread wraps. But like I said, it's always good to practice your um, thread wraps, every wrap counting. But... We've got the uh, Nymph Dove. This is by Franken, uh, Frankenfly, and I'm going to be using the Brighter Olive. And we'll start by just pulling out a good clump of this. And we're going to use quite a bit of this because I like to build up a nice little body here, make it a little meatier snack for those uh, trout that are looking up ready to eat. And we'll just start by dubbing it onto our uh, thread here. This is a wax thread. It dubs pretty nice on here. You could use a... Uh, a wax um, to help you in this process. I just kind of lick my fingers and dub it on. And you want to keep it a little bit of a thinner noodle, making sure to keep it really sparse here um, on our first couple wraps so that we can get a nice taper. And we'll start we working our way up with touching wraps, really building upon that body, starting with our taper now to get a little bit thicker. And as we get over this uh, bend where our thread's about to fall off, I'll just hold the bobbin in my hand and we'll go ahead and adjust that hook back to how we had it in the beginning with a straight shank, uh, making it easier to finish this fly. Now we need a little bit more dubbing. I'm going to work this all the way to the uh, the hook eye almost. And so you want to make sure you got a good chunk of dubbing here and um, make sure to notice how thick your dubbing on the body is and we can go up a little bit more on the taper and so I'm uh, I, I, you know less is more I like having more control and I'd rather dub on some more dubbing uh, one or two extra times than uh, deal with uh, you know putting it on too thick and so I'm going to work back over what I just kind of did to kind of clean that up and then we uh, seem to have enough this time and I'll finish here with the thread right behind the eye now, um, because I'm not going to use the rotary function, um, I'm going to go ahead and do just a little whip finish here, a two-turn whip finish, so that you know, as I'm uh, ribbing this with the tinsel, I don't knock my thread off and ruin our dubbing. And I like to do one wrap here at the very bottom, and if it slides down, just go ahead and adjust it back up. It's gonna, The first wrap's always the trickiest, and then just rib up this uh, shank, uh, kind of with moderate tension so that you know it's not going to move around after a few hits but I'm uh, creating a, a little bit of a segmentation in the body by pulling it real tight on that dubbing but uh, this has a little bit of flash and this is what's going to be in the water and kind of sparkle and dizzle and dammer at the uh, you know the fish as it's uh, floating uh, down the river and hopefully they look up and go ooh I like that gold tinsel I'm going to go ahead and eat it now for the underwing, I'm using some of this Trout Hunter. This is a, a tan um, CDC. I'm going to take two feathers out that are about the same length. And, you know, the sizes vary in here, but this Trout Hunter stuff's pretty good. Uh, it seems to have real good feathers, and usually they're nice and about the same. But 
Um, we'll line those up by the tips, kind of making sure they're uh, bending. The concaveness is the same, and I'll just pinch them on, and I'm tying these in about a hook eye behind the hook eye, leaving us a little bit of space for uh, the head of this fly. And so we'll just go ahead and do a couple securing wraps underneath this and uh, trim it out. And like I said, I do an oversized wing on this so that it, it floats a little bit better and causes that, uh, that body to just ride down in the water. And so now we're going to do the overwing. This is some Nature Spirit Select Cow Elk. Really good premium product. Um, I found, you know, this patch is also the bigger patch and lasts quite a bit. I'm pulling out about a pencil and I'll go ahead and brush this uh, um, elk hair to get rid of all, any under fur and also get some of the little stragglers out. And I also will pinch it about um, a third up towards the tips and then um, basically I do that so I get any of the smaller stragglers out. It also makes it a little easier to put in a hair stacker. So we'll go ahead and put that in our stacker, give it a couple taps here on our, on our workbench and then we will pull those out. Check for any uh, weird hairs or anything that you may not like and I seem to have got one right there and so I'll just pull it out trying not to ruin our tips and I'll line it up just having those tips go a little bit longer than the CDC and then I'll go ahead and get a couple securing wraps here and make sure you don't have any stragglers and there we go now we'll crank down and as I crank down, I'm kind of pinch, still pinching that, making sure it's on top of the shank. And then I'll lift up and do a few securing wraps in front of this. And this also helps to form a nice head. So you can see right there, it is done. But we're going to put a little black dubbing on here. And this is the same stuff by Frankenfly. Uh, Franken dub. It's the nymph dub. And we'll go ahead and put a little bit on our um, thread here. And we're going to basically push that uh, the elk hair up. And so I will pull it with my uh, left hand and do a couple wraps right there up against that uh, underneath side. And it looks like I got a little too much. So I'll just pull that off and we'll clean that up with the whip finish here. So let's do a whip finish now. And I'm going to do um, a three turn whip finish. And that's that's it. This is pretty much the uh, the fly. We are done. Uh, so it's super simple, super effective. Um, the last step is just cutting out your thread. Um, I'd recommend putting a little bit of uh, head cement on there. But uh, we're going to try something different for uh, this batch. And so I'll go ahead and get ready to cut that head. I'll just hold it straight out at a 45 and snip it. Making sure to get all the fibers. And there we go. we got a nice little head. And now here's what I'm going to try different. I'm going to use a little bit of a UV resin uh, to kind of place that wing how I want it and so I'm going to take just a small drop and I'm going to separate out the wing from the head and I'll place this drop right down in there and I'm going to let it soak for just a second before I cure it and then as a right before I cure I'm just going to lift this up and then I'll hit it with my UV light kind of forcing that wing to stay up a little bit better and that resin you know that's pretty solid stuff it should take a bunch of hits and also uh, helps keep all the elk hair on there but you can see it's a quick tie. I usually fish these pretty exclusively in this color. I'll change out the elk hair, maybe the shut color. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Tie them up, fish them, and hope it uh, does well for you.